Okay, now we review the inverse matrix. What is the uh, inverse of our matrix? Uh, the definition is uh, if A times B multiplied multiply by B equals the identity, the identity matrix, then we say that B is the inverse of A. Uh, also, A is the inverse of B. That's the definition of matrix. If two matrix, uh, if multiplication of two matrix is identity matrix, then uh, they are inverse of each other. Of course, we uh, we uh, require that A B are square square matrix. Of course because the uh, identity matrix is, is a square matrix. Okay, that's the definition. Then uh, there's two problems. Uh, the first one is how to find the inverse matrix. And the second is when a matrix is invertible. The first, the first problem uh, can be you can be used uh, this theorem. Use this theorem, and we can find uh, you use this theorem to find the inverse. If we multiply uh, a matrix or invertible matrix. matrix. Multiply or invert the matrix on the left. Uh, is equivalent is equivalent as uh, our series row reduction series row operation, maybe row operation. As a series of row operation on the matrix. That means um, A is equivalent to row operation of A. Oh, row operation on A, row operations on A, if M invertible, if M is invertible, that means, and uh, use this theorem, we can find the, uh, find the, uh, inverse of our, of, of our matrix. That is, to find the matrix of A or to find A inverse, we do the row operation as A and I. This is a bigger matrix that is the uh, a is matrix as the first and i as the second matrix in uh, combined as uh, one bigger matrix and uh, we do the row operation for this for this matrix and if the a is changed to the identity matrix and then the identity matrix is a inverse Maybe we call this is B. Then B is A, the inverse of A. Why? Because A I. If we turn uh, we multiplication this uh, matrix by 
a the inverse of a then the first matrix mm, becomes identity and the second becomes the inverse of a because the mo uh, multi uh, multiply or invert uh, an inver invertible matrix on the left is equivalent to uh, to equ is equivalent to a series of row operation so this means that as uh, the this matrix can do row operation to here then the b is the inverse of a uh, if we want to find the inverse we always use this trick now let's to, to let's see uh, example a equals two seven one 1, 4, negative 1, 1, 3, 0. And then find the inverse of A. So we uh, use this trick A and I, that is 2, 7, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 4, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 1. We use uh, dashed lines to separate these two parts. Uh, we only need to consider of the first part. And, and uh, do the same row operation and then with the previous part of the second part. So we do the row operation. So the first we interchange the first row and the third row because the third row is the easiest row. The simplest, it's simplest form. And then uh, one, four, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and 2, 7, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then uh, the second row subtract the first row, and the first row times negative 2, then add to the third row. The second row subtract the first row, it's 1, negative 1, then 0, 1, negative 1. And the, the first row uh, uh, multiplied by negative 2 and then add to the third row. So this is 1 because 3 times 2, negative 2. Okay, this is, does not change. It's not change, that's negative 2. And then the, the third row uh, subtracted the second row. That is zero, zero, that's two, that's one, that's negative one, negative two minus negative one, that is negative one. And then uh, divide the third row by two. These two rows does not. Uh, these two rows are not changed. And zero zero one. That's one half. Negative one half. Negative one half. And then the second row subtract the third row. So uh, or add add this add the third row. One zero. One half. That's one half. 
that's 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2, 0, 0, 1, 1 half, negative 1 half, negative 1 half. And then the, the first row subtracted the uh, sub, subtracted um, the, the second row multiplied by negative 3 and then add to the first row. So this is 0, that's 0, times negative 3. So that's negative 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2 times negative 3, and uh, that's negative line over 2, or, or that's line over 2. Uh, that's 11, 11 over 2. That's 0, 1, 0, 1 half, 1 half, negative 3 over 2, 0, 0, 1, 1 half, negative one half, negative one half. So the left part is changed to the identity. So we got the inverse of A as negative three over two, negative three over two, 11 over two. That's one half, that's one half, negative three over two, one half negative one half, negative one half. That's the solution. Use the rule operation or rule reduction to reduce the reduce A to B identity and then the identity is changed to the inverse of A. That's that's how to find the inverse matrix. The second problem is uh, related to when a matrix is invertible. A is invertible. It's equivalent to some conditions. as equivalent to the first one. First one is AX equals zero has only trivial solution. The second one by, by the uh, computation before we know that a can be reduced to the identity. The third one is A x equals B has unique solution. The fourth condition, all, all, those, uh, all those conditions are equivalent. equivalent. The determinant of A does not equal zero. The fifth, that is the rank. Rank A is N. And we always use this one and uh, this one. These two criteria are most, uh, are most used, common used. So if we want to, to determine our matrix is invertible or not, we use the rank or the determinant. The, the rank one is the most efficient, uh, most efficient way to, to, uh, to determine our matrix is, is invertible or not. Let's see um, an example to determine
determine if a equals maybe one negative one two negative five seven negative eleven and negative two three negative five is invertible or not the solution is we can use the rank there the, the matrix is 3 by 3 so we use the row reduction a is 1 negative 1 2 negative 5 7 negative 11 negative 2 3 negative 5 1 negative 1 2 times 5 add to the second row as 2 as negative 1 times 2 add to the third one to, to the third row as 1 uh, times negative uh, times two that is negative one one negative one two zero we uh, multiply the third row by negative two and then add to the add to the second row so this is zero times negative two that is two minus one that's one 0, 1, negative 1. Uh, interchange the third and the second row. That is 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1. So the rank of A equals 3. So the a is invertible. Uh, we use the rank to, de to determine whether this the matrix is invertible or not. Let's see another example. If A is negative 1, 4, 5, 2, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, and uh, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 0, and uh, uh, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. Is A invertible? Uh, because there's too many zeros here, maybe it's easier to find the determinant. So we use the determinant to find, uh, to, to determine A is, to determine whether A is uh, invertible or not. Negative two, 1, 4. 5, 2, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. We expand the, the determinant, uh, expand the de determinant uh, in terms of the third row, uh, the, the second row. That is negative one. Uh, this is the a two a two four. So that is negative one two plus four, and that is negative one four five. One negative two negative two zero negative one negative one. That is negative uh, 
negative one, four, five, uh, one, negative two, negative two, zero, negative one, negative one. And then we use the third column, the third column uh, minus the second column, the third column minus the second column. It costs the negative one, one, zero. Uh, four, negative two, negative one. That is a one, zero, zero. So expand, oh, that's negative. Ex expand this, uh, this determinant by the third column. It's negative one times one, that is one here, times one. 1 plus 3 and the, the, there's 1 negative 2 and 0 negative 1 left so uh, that's negative 1 times negative 1 that is 1 does not equal 0 because the determinant is non zero so a is invertible That's the inverse matrix.